Hello, and welcome to the VTOL VR F45A Options and Game Multifunction Display Panel Tutorials. These two panels are quick and quite similar, so we're going to be grouping them up for the purposes of time and just convenience. So, first what you're going to want to do is open on your multifunction display, open up uh, vehicle options or game menu uh, which are right here I'm going to maximize them for the purpose of these tutorials but you don't have to feel free to if you want and we're gonna start with vehicle options which is on the left here first the there are four just toggles here the first one is units these allow you to customize uh, your units for altitude, distance, and speed. So you can choose between altitude, altitude units in feet, meters, uh, and that's it, just feet and meters. You can choose in distance, you can either choose nautical miles, feet, miles, meters, and that's it. And for speed, you can either choose knots, miles per hour, or feet per second, or meters per second, or kilometers per hour. That's it. That's all there is for units. For joystick mode, this is a simple toggle. You can either choose for the joystick to be on your right side and your eject handle to be in the middle, or the joystick to be in the middle and your eject panel your eject panels on the left and right note that when your joystick is in the on the on the right and your eject handles in the middle your joystick can be you can be moved more with the wrist than anything but when it's in the center it's difficult to move it with the wrist so you're gonna have to physically move your controller much more than if it was on the side Next, for altitude warning, you can adjust at what altitudes your um, your autopilot will warn you. It'll say altitude warning. So, mode, radar, or ASL, that just means that these numbers will correspond to the altitude in radar or, or the uh, sea level. So, for example, my minimum altitude is set for 500 uh, feet. That means in radar, if my ship is 500 feet above the ground from the radar's perspective, then it will warn me. Or if it is 40,000 feet above the ground from the radar's pr perspective, it'll warn me. That's it for altitude warning and joystick sensitivity. It's pretty straightforward. The higher the sensitivity, the uh, more the the less your f motion is, like your field of motion. So this only this constitutes as a full uh, turn, but if it's lower, I apologize. If it's lower this you'd have to do much more motion in order to do the same amount of turn okay that's vehicle options in the game menu you can recenter your seat by clicking recenter sit comfortably press any button on your controller or not any button i apologize you press the menu button and it recenters your seat for the mission Quick save will allow you to save the mission. The you can save and load as needed. You can restart the mission by clicking here. You can access the flight log by clicking here. And you can exit the mission by clicking here. Your frames per second will also be displayed here. Only 36, that's pretty bad. Um, 
It should be noted that most of these options can be accessed by holding the grip, trigger, and menu buttons all at once. And you get this little radio menu. That's it. Have a great day.